The Big South Fork of the Cumberland River winds its way through the gorges of Tennessee's backcountry. Large portions of the river are remote, but that hasn't stopped upstream pollution from taking its toll on the river's health. On this winter day, researchers make their way to a quiet side branch of the river, searching for one of this watershed's most endangered species, the Cumberland elk toe mussel. With the temperature substantially below freezing, the team suits up. Half the challenge here is just getting in the water. Once the researchers submerge, time is of the essence. Icy water quickly numbs the hands and feet, so they must act quickly to find the well-camouflaged mussels that are often buried beneath the substrate. And what's the reason for their search? There's some of the mussels that we're dealing with that we own that in all of North America, we've got the one reproducing population. The system that we've worked out is to find these isolated patches of mussels, harvest the females that were pregnant, and then we bring them back to a facility and they're able to spawn those mussels off of the pregnant females and then we return both the adults and the babies to these river localities. But first, they have to find the mussels in these less than ideal conditions. The team scours the river. Viewing buckets help them peer into the turbid waters. It pays off with success. They discover a group of the endangered mussels and are quick to act. They must ensure that these creatures, like the exposed researchers, don't freeze in the cold air. Got an orange foot. Oh, okay, we have two of those now. Okay, take that, keep them warm. The mussels are hurried back to the relative warmth of the truck where it's found after careful inspection that none are pregnant. Perhaps it's too late in the season, or some other environmental condition is not right. And as the mussels are returned to the river, there are already new plans for more searches. Well, e even when you have data that you're not successful with, it's, it's a learning process, so we know now that we've waited a little too late to come out in the year. Every expedition like this is actually a success as these researchers continue to refine their methods and learn more about what it will take to save the endangered mussels of the Big South Fork. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.